friends welcome to the amazing world of u value r value and thermal conductivity uh, the moment we say aac blocks we know that the product was invented because we wanted to stop the cold from coming inside which happened in europe in our country we want to stop the heat from coming inside so for its property of thermal insulation the aac blocks were invented and the moment we say thermal insulation these three words we constantly hear there is u value there is r value and thermal conductivity so u value is the one which tells you the amount of heat which will pass through a substance a r value is the exact opposite of u value it tells you how much heat the material will resist from passing through it for aac blocks there is another twist in the tale the is code gives us not u value not r value it gives us a third term which is thermal conductivity so r value represents resistance to heat u value describes conductivity of the material a high r value means a low u value but the real difference between them is much more complex u value is more of an engineering term which describes thermal performance when looking for a material for your building you normally look for a high r value because you want the heat or the cold to stop from coming inside the unit of r value is square meter kelvin per watts whereas the unit of u value is exact opposite of it watts per square meter degree kelvin and then we have this twist in the story with the third term called thermal conductivity which is specified by is 2185 part 3 for the aac blocks thermal conductivity is also called as lambda given by the greek symbol lambda and denotes how easily heat flows through a particular material independent of the thickness of the material the lower the thermal conductivity of a material the better the thermal insulation that is the slower the heat will move across a material so now our thermal conductivity is measured in watts per meter degree kelvin so you must have noted that it is not square meter it is per meter because we are trying to take away the thickness of the material so let's say you are staying in a very hot climate city like nagpur and you want to construct your bungalow in nagpur now nagpur being very hot the architect will specify a fairly low u value maybe 0.65 watts per square meter degree kelvin for your walls so that the heat remains outside during the summer and your air conditioning costs are reduced please note that u value gives a heat transfer value per square area of a wall in other words he is telling you to use a building product that will allow only 0.65 watts of heat per square meter of your wall area for every degree rise in the climate temperature now it is your duty to select a product that fits the specification let's say you select ac blocks for masonry that normally have a thermal conductivity of only 0.15 watts per meter kelvin have you observed the difference in units between u value and thermal conductivity please note that thermal conductivity is given per meter thickness so in order to meet the specifications of your architect 
you will have to use the following formula u value is equal to thermal conductivity divided by the wall thickness so what should be your wall thickness it will be equal to the thermal conductivity of the material which you have selected ac blocks which is normally 0.15 divided by u value which is specified by your architect 0.65 so here we get the wall thickness that you should have for your bungalow to be uh, very efficient in resisting the heat from coming inside 0.23 meter which is 9 inches so friends uh, this is the world of thermal conductivity and u value and it plays a very prominent role in country like ours india where air conditioning costs are far higher and if we use a material like ac blocks for our masonry construction it is going to reduce our uh, cooling cost down substantially just imagine thermal conductivity value of a uh, red clay brick is 0.85 and thermal conductivity value of ac blocks is just 0.15 so five times it is more efficient in stopping the heat from coming inside and it is a big boon for our country the aerated autoclaved concrete blocks thank you very much friends bye for now and see you again in our next video series thank you friends please subscribe my channel to receive more tips on AAC blocks. Thank you.